so today is 28 september and today we will discuss minimum spanning tree before we start on minimum spanning sir khata ta ekto majkhaner dike anun okay okay sir before we start minimum spanning tree we need to know what is a tree then we need to know what is a spanning tree then we will get to know what is a minimum spanning tree so <clears throat> you have basic ideas about uh, transportation problems where there are some uh, source points where the products get you know uh, produced there are some supply points okay so product products get produced from one two threes and these uh, uh, these are the demand points four five six seven where the products to be delivered so th there are a system which connecting these nodes like this way so they these set of sources so source points and source of demand points these are all connected now these connections uh, may be of different type may be of uh, uh, may be weighted weighted means there are different type of weights like cost like distance like time taken okay so these values will be denoted by a number say 10 on this line so that means the product from 1 to 4 to be transferred either in 10 minutes of time or 10 hours of time or uh, 10 kilometers of distance okay or it might be uh, the cost might be of uh, 10,000 rupees okay so this 10 is the weight of the connection between 1 and 4 now this is one uh, very important thing which is called cij or c14 here so this cost is acting here as a weight now one more thing is important here it plays an important role that is the direction so here the products are going from one to four so the direction will be this way now there are several cases where these connections might be of different uh, both ways and there might be uh, there is no direction so this produces a network model which will which here we will call it as a network model now if you uh, learn computer science uh, in computer science engineering there is a subject called graph theory the same thing is taught here so they may call it a graph also okay so this is the diagram which is a network sir, model yes sir what is sir eij cij 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 is the okay, cost CIG. here I, I have taken cost so that's why it is cij this uh, if it may be cost it may be time it may be distance okay so these are called the weight weight of the connection between one and four now okay sir the i and j sir i and j are uh, two nodes these one two three four five six seven these are nodes okay so these are nodes or vertices
nodes or vertices these points these one two three four five six seven there are seven number of nodes now the lines connecting these nodes are called edges or arcs okay so these are the lines which are connecting the nodes now <clears throat> this a graph to be a tree this graph or this say network model will be a tree if the number of vertices are v and the edges are v minus 1 and all nodes are connected suppose we have a graph like this or network model like this where these 1 2 3 4 are connected but 5 is not connected so in such case it will not be a tree but it may be a network model but this will not be a tree now suppose this is connected this way okay this forms a cycle so this forms a cycle this is not a tree why this is not a tree if you look there are five number of nodes and also five number of edges and what we have written here the number of edges should be at least one less from the number of vertices so if there is b vertices the number of edges will be b minus one and all to be connected so here a cycle forms whenever a cycle forms then it never going to be a tree okay tree means uh, there there will be no cycle and these conditions to be validated if there is b number of vertices or nodes then the edges or arcs will be b minus 1 and all nodes to be connected if any node or any part of the object is you know different then they will not be a tree okay now is it clear what is a tree give me a response because this is not available in book i have to provide separate notes for it yes sir yes sir okay so now we have learned sir sir it is less than one means sir every time is less than one only yeah that is the condition that is the condition otherwise okay, cannot sir. achieve a tree however we will discuss later on we have learned what is tree now we will learn what is a spanning tree now <clears throat> from any curve suppose this is the new curve this is the given graph or this is the uh, network model we have given so from this of course this is not a tree so there is no such case that this might be a spanning tree okay so to be a spanning tree that might be a tree first so from a given network model we can take a subgraph okay if this is a graph we can take a subgraph where <clears throat> if you look very closely if you take out any of these uh, edges then it becomes a tree suppose we just take out one five one five gets deleted okay one five gets deleted so in such case this one two three four five satisfied the condition look very carefully these edges are number five uh, sorry the vertices are five the edges is four one two three four all are connected now this condition forming a tree a tree is formed by taking a subgraph from a network so this will be a spanning tree of this particular network now i have taken out one five i could have taken out one two 
that will be another spanning tree we can take out two three that will be another spanning tree we could have taken out three four that would be another spanning tree okay so there are number of uh, uh, spanning trees is possible from a single network okay so several spanning trees can be taken out from a single particular given graph or a network model okay so <clears throat> spanning trees are basically subgraphs of network models which forms a tree okay is the concept clear what is a spanning tree can you understand what is a spanning tree So yes sir. Okay, okay. So now we will advance again. Now these edges have some weights. Suppose this has weights four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. Now this spanning tree also have weight four, five, six, seven. So when we calculate or add this uh, number of uh, which this gives the weight of the spanning tree so here the total weight becomes 4 plus 5 9 9 plus 6 15 15 plus 7 22 so the total weight of the spanning tree is 22 now just imagine if we have taken out 4 5 instead of 1 5 then how does it look this will be look 1 5 2 3 4 so this will be 4 this will be 8 5 6 okay so the spanning tree will look like this and here in this case the total weight becomes 8 plus 4 12 12 plus 5 17 17 plus 6 23 so here the total weight is 23 now these are the weights of this spanning trees so the spanning trees with the minimum weight will be called the minimum spanning tree or mst minimum spanning tree okay so we have to in this minimum spanning tree problems this is a uh, minimization problem minimization problems are to be find out by a particular uh, algorithms and those algorithms are started with any one point and then step by step we go into next step so the step wise solution to be done and this method is called greedy method okay so however here in this mst problem what we have to do from a given graph we need to find out the spanning trees with minimum weight okay so there are some cases where more than one number of spanning trees can be found more than number of, more than number one minimum spanning trees minimum spanning trees can be found but their weights should be equal so the minimum spanning trees have the weight should be unique but the spanning trees may be different so the number of minimum spanning tree may be more than one so to finding out the minimum spanning trees we have uh, two algorithms the first one is called prims algorithm prims algorithm <coughs> In Prim's algorithm, there are a, a procedure to be followed one after another, stepwise. 
it says select edge with minimum weight then find the connectivity with two nodes of the taken edge then select the minimum weight of edge connected with the above side nodes and you have to do it continue until all nodes are taken so we will start it with a problem we will start it with a problem let me draw a diagram this is 1 2 4 5 this is 3 so Okay, so this is a diagram. This is a diagram where <coughs> we need to find out the minimum spanning tree by following the Prim's algorithm. So all the uh, weights are absolutely given here. We'll first find out the edge with minimum weight so if you look at the algorithm uh, at the network model the minimum weight here is the edge 1 2 that is 5 so we will choose 5 and these two nodes automatically comes on so the nodes are 1 and 2 now we look carefully for uh, these two nodes one and two and how they are connected with the other nodes okay so one is connected with three and weight is six two is also connected with three weight is seven two is connected with five and this is a six and 2 connected with 4 and the weight is 8 okay so from these uh, options you take is 1 3 is 6 2 5 is 6 so we could we, we can take either of this so either 1 3 or 2 5 can be taken so we are we, we have the objective to connect all the nodes and choosing the minimum weight edges okay so 1 3 is 6 the first one we will choose and we will draw this 1 3 so our next step is done now we will go for our next step in next step what are the options we have two participants are waiting in the lobby how to allow them okay okay still people are coming in okay so our next step we have got these two nodes two and three we have got these two nodes two and three this is already taken so we can delete it out we can we can del delete it up uh, okay now we need to check how the uh, nodes 2 and 3 are connected so 2 are connected in this way and 3 is connected with uh, 2 3 is already taken 3 4 which is having 
uh, eight weight and three five having six okay so now we can choose this two five this is the minimum two five so we go with two five okay that is also six now what are still not connected only four is not connected so we now check the connectivity with four with three with one with two and five where we can add four okay so four is having four is having connection with two four is connection with three four is connection with uh, five that is eight so this is the three options with four now still you see there is a option to uh, wait six which is three five but three five we cannot use because whenever we add this three five here this will become a cycle so if a cycle is formed then it will not be a spanning tree so three five to be ignored okay so now we need to add four into here because four is left so four is connected with two having eight weight four is connected with three having eight weight four is connected with five that is also eight weight okay so we can take any one of these three so two four is eight so we can just take four and join it here okay we need to keep these positions as the network is given so you you look where there was one we have chosen one where there was two we have written two at that particular position three is here five is here four is here so we have not changed the position we have maintained their position okay so this is how in prims algorithm we get to find the minimum spanning tree see if we have not chosen 2 5 here instead we have chosen 3 5 then also it would then look same where this 2 5 is to be removed and 3 5 to be joined if you look we will get another spanning tree where 2 5 is removed and 3 5 is joined but it, this weight is also 6 so the total weight would have been same total weight of the spanning tree would have been same but the spanning tree would have been different so for minimum spanning trees the number of minimum spanning tree may be more than one but the total weight of the minimum spanning tree will be unique so the weight of these minimum spanning trees 6 plus 5 11 11 plus 6 17 17 plus 8 25 so the minimum spanning tree having the weight is 25 is the prims algorithm clear to you do you need to repeat anywhere any confusions give me a response if anybody have problem no sound so i can take it as no problem to anyone now next we will learn the next algorithm which is called the kruskal's algorithm Kruskal's. Okay. 
so in in this algorithm we will uh, take the same network model and here we will write out the edges in increasing order with their weights so we will write out the edges with their weight value as increasing order so the less the minimum value of weight is 5 so we will write 1 2 first then there is 6 so we will write 1 3 a 6 then 2 5 a 6 then 3 5 a 6 then 2 3 a 7 then 3 4 as 8 and 4 5 also as 8 and 2 4 also as 8 okay so looking at this figure we have written out the edges as they are increasing weight okay now our job is to draw the network model or redraw the network model with taking these edges one by one so that we can cover all the nodes or vertices by taking the minimum uh, weight values okay so first we will take one two we will not change the position of these one twos the very the vertices position will not be changed so this one two is five this is taken now next is one three is six is taken two five is six thus taken so this is taken this is taken this is taken now the three five is six look if we join three five if we join three five it becomes a cycle so we do not take it okay whenever this produces a cycle we will not take it now again two three if we add two three this again producing a cycle so we will not take it then there is three four so if three four is there we will take four here its position and we will join this three four which is having eight as its weight so here also all the vertices are now covered and the number of edges are v minus 1 so edges are 5 sorry the vertices are 5 and the edges are 5 minus 1 4 and these all are connected so this becomes a spanning tree we have taken the minimum value of weights so this becomes a minimum spanning tree and the total weight As you see 8 plus 6 14 14 plus 5 19 19 and 6 25 so this in this two minimum spanning tree this is a mst this is an mst this is also minimum spanning tree this is also minimum spanning tree and we got the value 25 of both cases but these two spanning trees are different so from a given graph we can get more than one number of spanning trees with the minimum weight value but that weight, total weight value of those minimum spanning tree should be unique that is you are also 25 you are also 25 which is called the Kruskal's algorithm now there are two theorems and this gives uh, this provides uh, the on the proof of this two algorithms that is cut optimality theorem and path optimality theorem uh, sir yes yes 
sir sir both the method used for sir calculate the mst yes so what is the difference between that sir in the in the case of kuskel algorithm we can we can join the same types 2 4 or 5 4 here we are looking at the weights in kuskels but in prims our target is join the different vertices these are similar because this is this gives you the same result application is same so but sir, weight oh, means sir in the crucial algorithm please repeat sir what is the weight means this initially first we have chosen the edges we have written out the edges and the increasing weight order we have written this okay we, we have written the edges according to the increasing order of the weight and now we are we are choosing the edges Yes, sir. Yes, I got my point. Okay. Sir. Okay. Now we will learn the cut optimality theorem. Okay, our time is almost up today, so we'll stop here.